hello everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm gonna be doing a process video on how i decorated this happy mail box and this is my first fall themed video for 2018 so i am super excited about that and get ready for more fall themed videos in the future so like i said i'm decorating this box the paper pad that i'm using is called pumpkin spice and i picked this up at joann's so for the cover, I wanted there to be more color, so I picked out this pattern paper and I'm just cutting this down to size and I'm just eyeballing it. I should really start measuring, but I don't know, it takes too much time. I think I'm gonna also make another video with how I created this box. It was really easy, so yeah, let me know if you like to see that. Now that I'm satisfied with the size, I'm just gonna adhere that with my ATG gun and add a doily i think a doily adds the cutest touch to any project so now i'm just gonna go through all of my fall ephemera to see which pieces look cute this paper collection is by jen hadfield and i believe uh, it is called warm and cozy this collection here is by pebbles and it is called midnight haunting This collection is also by Jen Hadfield, and I think the collection is called Woodland... Woodland something. Let me know if you guys know what it's called down below. I really wanted to use this leaf that I found in my stash that I picked up last year from Joann's, as well as this sort of wreath trim. So now I'm just playing around with the ephemera to see what looks good. I really like this welcome fall piece. So I really like how that looked in the middle so I'm just going to glue that down with my hot glue gun. What I like about this trim is that it is wired so I get to adjust that to my liking. So I'm just making that into a little wreath and I'm gonna glue that down around that welcome fall ephemera piece. I do, I do want that deer to pop out a little more, so I'm just going to adhere that with some foam tape. I wanted to add a little more brown to my cover, so to do that, I'm just going to add these brown enamel dots. I thought the top part of my box looked a little plain, so I'm going to add a banner piece. And to do that, I'm going to use this punch and this twine that I picked up from Dollar Tree. And the paper pad that I'm using is called Knock on Wood, and it is by Lanfon. 
so I decided to go with this orange and yellow paper. I grabbed this scrap paper from my stash and I'm gonna be punching out four more of those little banner pieces to glue on the back so it won't be too flimsy. To glue on this banner, I used my hole punched and punched out each end and put the twine through the hole and glued the leftover twine on the back of my box, if that makes sense. You guys, this is the final look. I think it turned out super cute. I absolutely love it. Um, I did stuff some goodies in there just so you guys can see how it looks stuffed. But yeah, I had fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching.